Hi guys, and welcome back to It's Been Chaotic Podcast. I am Par with my co-host. Co-host? Co-host. <laughs> I told you I was stuck with that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm Aldo. If you watched the other episode, you know my pronouns are they, their, they, them. And if you have watched the last episode, you know mine. It's he, they. Um, starting off this episode, we last talked about starting off in the new year of 2024 and we talked a lot about some stuff that had happened back in 2023 that was pretty interesting but as you both know or as you guys know me and Aldo are not from the same country or the same continent <laughs> as I have grown up as an American Aldo has grown up in as Polish your, as Polish exactly so we thought today we would actually talk about that for um, you guys, like how we met, kind of. We'll deep dive into that more later, but we're going to talk about what was it like growing up because we have learned over like many different topics and many different conversations that a lot of things have been different for us from learning languages to growing up to even schools. Yeah, so. especially when we met and uh, that we mentioned last time. Um, I realized a lot of different things about USA. Now, I mean, the things that I already knew, but I experienced them this time. Um, and I can clearly say that we definitely did grow up differently. So, let's dive in into that. Yeah. So, as probably most people know, there's a, definitely a stereotype between... I would say there's a very large stereotype for, like, American people. Because I wouldn't say you guys really stereotyped me when we first met. But I know that there was a whole, like, uh, difference in schools. And then, like, we've had to explain to each other, like, your ages in certain groups of, like, growing up in schools. So we have elementary, middle school, and high school. And from, like, elementary, it, you're, like, depending on where you go. I had preschool when I was in elementary school I so I went from ages five to like 11 like 10 ish 11 and then from 11 to 14 and then 14 to 18 was my high school years so it was like those main groups were categorized for ours and I know it's very like different you guys call your things different things than what we call ours well, yeah, obviously, first off, because of the difference in languages and, like, a different way of translating those words. Um, but also, I guess, the school system is genuinely just different um, in Europe and USA, but also between, like, different European countries. Like, I wouldn't compare my situation to, for example, like, England, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and when like translating those words i am trying to compare um those words to like the closest it would be translate like um the closest meaning of what it means in polish polish language so yeah th those are like i i call them differently than you would call them um i went to school in a different school system than the current one because this is the the um, Polish school system changed a few years ago when the government changed and they decided to like bring back the uh, school system from the communism era in Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I when I was in school, the the system was not like the system was different than the communist one. Uh, and what well, I didn't go to the kindergarten, but I went to the class zero, which is like common in Easter, Eastern European countries, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, that starts at the age either six or seven, depending on when parents enroll you. I went when I was seven, uh, and then when I was eight, the, the class zero ended. And then I went to the primary school. So I went from like the age of eight till 13. Yeah. In, in in primary and then I had middle school from 13 to 16 and from 16 to 19 I was in 
uh, high school. Um, and that was like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Now the school system is from like, the primary is from the age seven to 15, I think. Um, and then you go straight from primary to high school when it, you go from 15 to 19 again. So it's, it's different now. They um, got rid of the middle school. Mm. See, like, I think there's also, like, the, like, with that, there's also, like, the difference in, like, like, kind of the way, like, so American high schools are very, like, populated by movies, and it's always, like, this <laughs> teenage dream bullshit of high school for Americans, and then Europeans are like, is high school really, I, I like, not you, because I know you didn't do this, but I know I've met enough Europeans. I did. Wait, no, yeah, you did. No, I remember, actually, I remember this conversation now. I, but, I like, did, no. We I, had this. I was like, can I, can I tell the story? I was like, oh my god, do you actually have chill reading themes in school? We do, um, and I was like, but not mine. Wait, the yellow buses actually exist? <laughs> when we were in Portland, I, like, the first time when we left on the parking lot, I saw a yellow bus, and I was like, wait, that's I, real? I had a cat join me, by the way. Sit your butt down. If you're gonna be on the desk, sit down. He's rubbing up against the mic stand. Um, yeah, so we will have a little uh, ASMR from the cat in the background. <laughs> he's not rubbing against the mic. He's rubbing against the thing that's holding the mic. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so it's like the... But it's also like... I've met enough Europeans that are like, oh my god, like... Like, High School Musical is very popular, and I've had people be like, do you guys just, like, I find this so dumb, because I've actually had somebody ask me this question where they're like, have you actually broken out into song and dance? I'm like, why the fuck would we do that? Explain to me <laughs> why the hell we would have a full choreographed dance in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> like, no, for okay, one, I that's kind of dumb. <laughs> I am not that ob oblivious. <laughs> But I was surprised that you have, like, lunch rooms. Yeah. And I know, like, lunch is a common thing even in European countries. <laughs> but because, like, I'm used to Polish system, mm -hmm. when if you go to a public school, not like a private-owned one, mm -hmm. you won't get, like, a lunch room or a lunch provided by school. Um, yeah, so I feel like I that's a very like, American oh thing. Yeah. Or, like, well, I wouldn't say it's a very American thing, because I've watched enough, like, people, like, that are, like, Korean content traders, don't step on that, um, that have, like, the whole, like, Korean lunch thing. And we know this, because when we, we both watch that one YouTube channel that, like, I'm not gonna name names, but we know who, who I'm talking about. Um, but, like, oh my god, hold on. No, there's an ad. My music. Fuck off. Um... So random. Sorry, sorry for <laughs> laughing, but we are having a background conversation about the cats. <laughs> uh, I'm cuddling him right now because he keeps trying to step on the keyboard and I'm just not having it. Um, don't rub against the mic, you weirdo. What was I talking about? I got so lot distracted by the cat trying to be destructive. Uh, lunch? Um, I was going somewhere with this, but yeah, we watch, we watch content creators that have, like, shown, like, di like, in different places, so I won't say it's just an American thing, but stop it. <laughs> um, but I remember, this is where I was going with this, because I remember this, we, we even put this in our group chats quote book thing, because we thought it was funny, um, but I remember I was, like, super, I fixed my sleep schedule now, but I was super delirious when we did this, because my sleep schedule was shit when I did this, but it was, like, I think it was, like, early in the morning, and I was going on a tirade about how my school, like, the layout of my school was, my high school. And we quoted this, but I went, it, there's nothing above it, it's just a tree. <laughs> because I was explaining that in between, like, these classrooms that I had, it was, like, this, like, a circle shape. And in the middle of that circle shape, there was just, like, a, you can't climb on that, stop that. In the middle of the circle shape, there's just a tree and there's, like, no classrooms or anything above it. It's just, like, a circle cylinder with a fucking tree in the middle of it. 
and I I, I, yeah. I never realized, like, now that I'm thinking of it, there was, there's obviously a side door on the hallway that probably led out to the tree so people could maintenance it. But when I was in high school, I always went, how the hell do they get to the tree? Do they, like, suspend <laughs> themselves from the roof? <laughs> obviously, there was a very simple answer that I just didn't want to, like, look into. <laughs> yeah that's a, like also different thing the different layouts of school um i've seen your school building mm -hmm. like i think i saw saw the primary one i'm not sure if i saw the high school one no i um, showed you the i showed you the high school the, one because i don't wait no you walked by my old prior like my old elementary like with our other friend i wasn't with you but you guys walked by it yeah so, like for the listener, for for the listeners again, we I I visited uh, Parker in the states, and there were like on multiple occasions moments when he was showing me around, and um, one time I went out with our other friend and I saw one of one school building, and you didn't have like um multiple lever like levels in no. the building right yeah it was one there, level building yeah for my with, elementary school it was very it was one level yeah uh all my schools were multiple level buildings and i've been like just used to walking down the, what, the up and down the stairs every single day at school because we didn't have classes oh we also should talk about that the difference in um like a week schedule Oh yeah. In USA, I learned, and I was surprised, that you don't have classes, as in like a set number of people in one no. class. You had like lessons that you went to, and yeah. every single day you had the same uh, lesson plan. I also while... think it depends on like American schools, because the one I went to was a public one, and I I have a feeling like if you go to maybe different set schools across the United States maybe they function a little differently but the one I definitely went to is like you definitely got lessons and people changed within the classroom so you didn't always have like the same like I would maybe have one or two classes with like one of my high school friends and then the rest of the day I wouldn't see them until like maybe lunch or the end of school or yeah in Poland we uh, have set classes so by class I mean a group of like from 28 to 31 people um, in one class that have a head teacher, like a class teacher, I guess, mm -hmm. um, that um, is responsible for you for most of the time. Um, and other than that, you, all, you also have like other teachers, obviously, from other like um, uh, subjects, but um you have one class um with that set teacher um that is about your behavior it's like a behavior behavioral class yeah and you go to every single subject subject with your class so um you just change classrooms but you every day you see the same people and you know the same people um so that's like also like this on on the social part um the first time i went to the usa and i landed in uh, the airport in la mm -hmm. i was surprised about you like you as an americans being so open and chit chatting and like not being scared about being social and i was like so weirded out because in Poland people don't talk to each other on the streets on when they don't know each other um so i compare it to like the school situation when i like i said for example let's take primary school you go for from class like the age of 7 to 13 only knowing the 30 people you are in class with and you don't branch out. You yeah. Know? While in USA, you have different classes with different people. That's kind of, um, I guess, from the social point, how I see that, why you are 
uh, again as a Europe, like as the difference between me and Americans is like I didn't grow up as social. Yeah. I feel like it's very interesting with that as well because like in America when you're definitely walking around and you're like trying to be polite like you will give like a small smile and like a hand gesture or like a wave or like kind of like nod your head to the person and like <clears throat> you guys have like sent me videos of like what is it like stuff in Europe like you and Beanie especially because like Germany is also slightly different with this from what we've learned is like you guys like you're like nobody in Poland smiles but then you came here and you're like why is everybody smiling <laughs> yeah, and it's it's, it's, such a, it's, it's such I've, a meme. I've realized that it's a weird like weird American-ish thing that because like I don't know how it is with like Europeans at all but Americans some Americans hold their standard like their status or like how people perceive them so highly in their brain that they don't want to be perceived as rude and so they'll make small gestures to come off as nice rather than rude hmm. and it's, it's I guess that um, I guess here people don't really care because everybody is like that. And so to, to give context to the videos, uh, me, me and Vinny were sending par TikToks of how it, like, like, like oh, it was, they were over-exaggerated, but mm -hmm. they were like memes and TikToks of how people are on the street where you like, or in the stores when you like um, cross paths with them. When you don't know a person, you just don't smile. And, and it's like an older lady, you know, like a granny uh, walking by and you, you just decide to be nice that day and smile at her. But other than that, you don't really smile on the streets. Um, and you don't really come in contact. Like, I know one thing in the States that that was so weird to me. Uh, in when we were like every single time when we were in Walmart, mm -hmm. um, you were saying, "Oh, let us scoot by." Oh, sorry, my friend is not from here. Oh, um, sorry, you wanted to go this way, and like you yeah. were or like I said, excuse me, like that yeah, kind of thing. And excuse me, excuse me, um, you were saying stuff to those people in Poland. When I go to the store and I want to. Um, like, go by a person. They only say, the only thing I would say at most is Prasham, which is as, uh, how I say sorry, mm -hmm. or like, excuse me. And that's the only thing I would say. Um, and other than that, I wouldn't say anything. Or, I wouldn't say anything at all, even that. You know? Mm -hmm. And the thing that blew my mind is that aisles in Walmart are pretty, like, broad, you know? You yeah. can go past a person without saying, excuse me, <laughs> uh, but you did say that anyway. <laughs> and aisles in, like, a regular store in Poland are not that broad, and people don't say sorry <laughs> at all. Uh, so that was, like, a thing that was, like, wow, people are People are overly nice there, you know. <laughs> that that was that was just mind blowing. Um yeah, like I remember when we went to like the mall because I don't live near like, I don't live super close to any mall, so it's like, and we'll get into this as well. But it's like a, from where I live, you have to drive a few hours to get to a mall. And we had been to a few different ones. We had been to the one in Idaho and then the one in Portland. And, like, <laughs> it's funny because I remember seeing this TikTok and it's, like, the, it's the, it's, like, the girl that's, like, oh, you live, like, like, she's, like, talking to somebody and they're, like, oh, you live near England. And it's, like, a hour and a half, like, train ride from where they live to England. And I'm, like, it takes me, like, four hours <laughs> To get to Portland. Four to, like, four to five hours to get to Portland. Okay, like, listen. And I'm like, I will drive that randomly. Like, and I'm okay. like, 
it like and then there's the one dude that's like it takes them like 11 hours to drive across texas or like it literally takes from getting t- like to london texas to okay, paris okay, texas okay, four okay, hours can i give context <laughs> I Listen, think this is funny you um the state of oregon is uh, like <laughs> comparably the same size of poland yeah uh, when you go from your place to portland that takes four hours if I went the same distance in <laughs> Poland from the place of my, like, my birthplace, for example, my sister, this is the, the like, comparable distance. It would take me six to seven hours of travel. <laughs> so that's why people don't compare it that way. Because yeah. there's so many different places in between. While... When we drove, there were like seven towns <laughs> on on the way from from or like your place of birth to Portland. Yeah, like seven yeah. Made big bigger places. While in Poland, there is like a village on a village plus <laughs> towns and cities. You know, <laughs> so you cannot say that this place is close to this because there is like no. a thousand smaller places closer. Yeah, so I also find it funny because like we we constantly kept driving back, back and forth from where I lived to like, uh, Idaho because that's where you flew into. Um, and it was just we like we drove back there like maybe once a week almost. Yeah, and it was basically it would be once and a half a week. Yeah. And it was, it was like quite a bit of driving back and forth and it takes, it takes us almost three hours to get from where I live to where we were going in Idaho. And I'm just like sitting there and I'm like, this is like, this is like a normal drive. This is like a normal, maybe every other weekend kind of drive for most people. (laughs) And like, it's like, it's just... And it's funny because you say, like, there's villages and towns in between where you're going from where you live to where, like, your birthplace is half the time. And I'm just like, there is nothing but farmland and cows. <laughs> yeah. And what is funny, when I flew over from L.A. Uh, to Idaho, um, I was like, there is nothing. Just, like, desert. <laughs> <laughs> above. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I I just find it so kind of, like, interesting, like, how it's so vastly different. Because, like, to me, like, you guys, you guys measure stuff in, like, how, like, the distance. Where I'm, yeah. like, it takes okay. us, where we measure things in, like, how many hours it's going to take us. Because yeah. I don't want to say that we it's just... going to take... 300 miles to get from one thing to another that's i don't know how long that is and like what you guys use but like i don't want to state that it's gonna be 323 miles i'm just gonna say it's gonna take me four hours yeah which like for me it wouldn't be comparable because i drive for like i it takes me by bus four hours to go from my birthplace to the place I live currently in, which is Warsaw, I don't mind telling people that I live in the city center. I'm a, I'm but, a keep mind to myself. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but like, um, I mean, I live in the capital, so it's easy to tell me that, the people to that. Um, but like, it takes me four hours, which if there were no, like, let's say there where no the distance was like comparable like to take a distance in USA when there's no villages from one point to the other like in USA it would take you probably like an hour drive mm-hmm. um, so it's funny to say that you know yeah so I looked it up 300 miles is 482 kilometers That is, yeah. like, that is, like, weird. Like, that is sometimes a normal drive to people. <laughs> and, like, 
it it's weird how normal that is so like i like going back to the tiktok thing is like people be like who live in bigger cities like places in like new york or like those kind of places who have to take like like also take trains sometimes their commute to work is 45 minutes it, it, <laughs> i find it like i take 44 for like the 40 minutes thing i take only from go going from one side of warsaw to, to another <laughs> exactly but, but that's the uh, i think um normal time that you take in a big city to go from one point to another you know yeah and like i wouldn't say i grew up in a small town i grew up in like you a... did <laughs> thanks i grew up in a i would say when it when i was younger it was definitely a small town it's now expanded quite a bit and like since you've been gone we've actually god i was driving past the middle school and they are constructing this giant ass building right now and i literally was driving by it and i went what the fuck is this because <laughs> i wasn't used to I it when it i funny, was... <laughs> uh, when i every single time when i um like left one type of school let's say i left uh, my middle school uh-huh they did some new stuff built new stuff reconstructed something and i was like why after I leave? I know. That's exactly like my thought. Except I liked my middle school how it was because we had the old annex building, which truth be told, I get why they're building this new annex building is because the old one, it was back in like the 1950s, like way like that. It's really old. And the problem is, is it's also slightly crumbling. So they want to get rid of it because of how bad of the building it is. It's the same with, like, there's a college in my town as well. I'm gonna probably I'm so out- I'm probably gonna out myself just by explaining half the shit. And there is this really old, nice staircase that leads up to one of the buildings at the college. And they don't want to fix the stairs, even though they're fucking crumbling. Because they don't have the money, obviously, I get that. But, like, if they fix these stairs once and actually fix them well- they would never have to worry about it again and it wouldn't be a hazard to the building above it it wouldn't be a hazard to the students that try to climb it or the the, the i mean the obviously the college kids aren't doing it but like the younger idiot kids like it would be so much easier if they just didn't like they would just fix it once and then have it over with and i get they need the money for that but like yeah, I, mean, I was laughing at some point during what we were saying, because that's another thing I realized that is different. You said 1950s, and you said it's quite old, and I went, that's quite new, actually. Well, I don't really know when the building was constructed. Like, I'm that's, yeah, guessing but here, like, but, like, it's it's it an old-ass building. A, it gives kind of a context. Like, it, 1950s, it's after war, mm -hmm. and... Um, I would say that buildings after war are actually oh my God. new. You, um, <laughs> you bring up war, and Beanie brought up the. So, like we've said, our friend Beanie is from Germany, and this this person, this lovable idiot, drops the biggest freaking like thing in our group chat the other day, and went, "There was a bomb by my college the other day." And they just okay, used it. Okay, is this a big thing for you? It, okay, you, okay. I'm an American. That does not happen on a daily basis. And he's like, they, me, they diffuse like 5,000 um, bombs in one. Find, <laughs> I find it extremely shocking whenever you and our other American friends have conversation about guns. Oh, yeah, that's And true. stuff like that. And <laughs> you... And you go to like... What does that noise? Out about a bomb. And... And, was that your phone and, or my phone? I'm so confused. Hold on. It was not me. <laughs> Something started talking in a language. <laughs> it was not me. Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Before you continue, I have to figure out. Was that legitimately my phone? <laughs> what was that? I think so. I think so. I think it was like an alarm or something. Oh, I think it um, was my Siri going off. Because <laughs> I went... <laughs> Who's talking? It it sounded like Dutch, but I couldn't really hear it. And I went, "Who's talking in Dutch?" 
yeah, if it was in that, then it was definitely <laughs> not mine. Um, okay. Um, and you were like shocked about a bomb, and for me, it was like, oh yeah, obviously <laughs> there there was like a bomb found. Like that's just a normal occurrence, at yeah. least in Germany, um, especially in Germany. Um, so for me saying that, I was like, oh yeah. This is normal. I said like this is a normal day to day occurrence. <laughs> in Poland, uh, when you go like to the forest or on the field or somewhere, yeah, they're like stay on the hear... path. Yeah, um, and even if you hear like in the news, oh, someone found a bomb. It's like oh, obviously someone found a bomb. Uh, <gasps> I don't know. It isn't really that <laughs> big of a deal to hear about it in the news. So just because Bini said that, oh, it was by my college, it, I wasn't surprised. But you were like, what? I woke, oh, I woke, remember that I woke up to this message. So yeah, I was true. even more confused. And then, that's like, but true. then when, when me and Ben, because I don't particularly, by the way, trigger warning for any of these people listening. Trigger warning about what? <laughs> I don't, guns. <laughs> okay, guns, okay. Um, me and Ben do sometimes talk about guns, and, like, I, I'm not somebody who personally likes always going out and shooting. My dad just joined a shooting range, uh, he bought, and this might be concerning to a few people, it wasn't, it's not really that concerning, but my brother-in-law has his guns, and then my father and my mother have their guns now, and they bought them after me and my sibling had moved out, but my father for Christmas, my mother had bought him an AR, I think it was a 45 or a 55. I don't really know guns, so I really don't fucking know. But they, I know it's an AR. And we, it was like New Year's Day. It was like January 1st, and we were going out. My dad had texted me just the day before because we were at my parents' house, and then he texted me, like, after me and my sister had left, and we're like, do you want to go to the shooting range with me? And I went, sure, why not? Um... And I had been shooting guns before, like, way back in high school with some, like, friends, because we went with my friend's family. And, but, like, you wanted video, so we, I sent you, <laughs> of, like, me shooting the guns, and so I sent you videos of me shooting, um, the AR, and then we also had a shotgun, which was my brother-in-law's, and then we also had, I don't remember what they were, they were, they were the handheld guns. Um... And I had sent you those videos, and you were like, the AR is crazy. And I sent it to Ben, and me and Ben start talking about it. And me, it's, like, so normal for me and Ben to talk about it, because it was just, like, it was a normal, like, day-to-day -day occurrence. Not really day-to-day -day occurrence, but, like, Ben's family owns, like, their own guns as well. Like, they had, like, I think Ben's, like, stepfather, like, uh, I think Ben had said that he served in, it was yes, either his yeah. father or his stepfather, but, like, served in the military somewhere. And so he has his own guns now, because he's no longer in service, but he, like, owns guns now, and he's a part of his own shooting range where they live. And so it was just, like, it's just a normal kind of thing for some Americans is, like, just owning guns. And, like, I want to say it's, like, a normal thing for every American. And there's definitely, like, I have my own quota with some issues that I've had in the past. Like, when I was back in high school, there was something that happened traumatically to me. And then there was, like, there's obviously a need for maybe more regulation on how people get guns. Because there are definitely people that do not need guns and i'm not talking about like obviously you have a right to bear arms with the amendment in america but like if you are mentally unstable enough to go shoot somebody you don't need a gun <laughs> like that kind of brings up um the conversation with me and my brother recently that i told you about that okay again trigger warning to war that if um the war spreads from ukraine to poland um, and they call in for people to help. I won't be called in because I have like a diagnosis of depression and other other stuff. Yeah. And and it's um, 
Like they would, like, they just wouldn't give me a gun, you know, yeah. at all. And I was like heavy breathing throughout the whole you being like, oh, my parents have a gun, Ben's gun, Ben's parents have a gun, and I was like, it is hard to be honest. It is hard to see a Polish policeman mm-hmm. wear a gun. Um, obviously, I did see, uh, especially when there were riots. <laughs> Uh, in Poland that I like took part in. Yeah, I did see people like police people having guns, but they were were not used. Yeah, most of the time yeah. they u- they use like um, batons or something. I don't know what it's called, um, and not firearm or anything. Yeah, I would but- say with. Like, I, I want to give the American police force the benefit of the doubt because I know that they need better training. At least some people need better training. And definitely, we need probably newer people coming into the police force. And I'm not saying the older generation is bad, but there is definitely, like, a little bit of more closed-mindedness with some of the older generation police officers in America. And I'm not saying you don't do your job, but sometimes you just don't do your job well. <laughs> and it scares people. And, like, I trust the police officers in my town. I uh, am friend. I was friends with the uh, daughter of the... Who's now the sheriff of our town. And, like, I went to high school with her. And she's very nice. And I, I enjoy talking to her a lot. But, like, it was, like... I trust them quite a bit. But, like, when I look at police officers in other areas, I'm, like, you... Sometimes they just have such a weird bias. And, like when newer police officers come in it like you can see that like there's there's like kind of a imbalance in like how some of the police officers think because the younger generation wants to be more inclusive and more open-minded about situations where sometimes the older generation as they try and they i have known that some people do try i'm not saying that they're all bad or all good everybody's neutral in their own way um, and I do not pick sides. I will not pick sides on this matter. It's just my opinion. But, like, obviously some people are maybe a little more closed-minded than others. And you can always say people are more closed-minded in everything. And, like, in almost anything. But we just need to, like, take the benefit of the doubt and not jump to conclusions. Which a lot of people immediately like to jump to conclusions. And I don't think that's a healthy thing. Because it can hurt people greatly. Yeah. Like, I think we can do well on this topic a little bit on like a separate yeah. episode where mm-hmm. we can like Deep talk a whole episode about the issue. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I guess yeah. Moving also, on. Huh. Uh, you got <laughs> a weird uh, alarm that was in Dutch. I uh, do did. You to, <laughs> do you want to tell people why Dutch? specifically no i don't want to tell people why dutch specifically we can don't dive into that later <laughs> <laughs> i will not tell people that i am a i will tell people that i am a simp but i will not tell people why i'm <laughs> the drastic change in the conversation we talked about school and nationalities and we want to all talk about languages too a little I, bit I, that I guess that's a good segue <laughs> yeah good segue uh, how about we obviously uh, are um english native yes even though <laughs> i can't even though i can't english properly half the time <laughs> oh uh, hmm. i <laughs> I cannot say that. Uh, like, I cannot disagree, okay? You have dyslexia. I am so... dyslexic, so yeah, there's that. I, uh, obviously, am from Poland. I speak. You speak two um, languages and you know how to read and write German, but you, you're not great at speaking it. Yeah. You can uh, judge my English by uh, this podcast it by itself. Um, You've gotten better I, since we first met. I will I will put that out it, there. When we first met, you didn't understand some words completely, and you've gotten way better the more you've talked in English. Yeah, because when we met, which was like um, over a year ago, yes. like a year, a few months ago, I didn't have friends um, from other countries that I had to speak in English with. I was good at English at school. And in uni, and I never had an issue 
with English when I went somewhere and uh, someone didn't know Polish, I could easily communicate in English. But I didn't have um, everyday basis of speaking English like I do now. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, since I met you, basically. Um, and I definitely am more confident in it. Yeah. Um, which which helped which helped but i uh, my pronunciation is still down low um especially since uh, i can say a little bit that i am tongue deaf um our friend vicky who is from taiwan um they said that um i would never be able to learn chinese because i do not hear the difference between oh yeah the words fluctuations spoken in different tones yeah yeah uh so <laughs> recently with vicky when we were on call there was this thing we were playing minecraft and you no i said something about needing a bow and <laughs> vicky was like a bell and i don't know if i mispronounced or whatever but i was so confused because you were having a conversation about bell being useless and i was like bow isn't useless and for me, it sound the two words sounded the same, and I was so confused. So yeah, uh, that's it when it comes to English. And you said that I do speak um, or like no German. Yeah. And when Bini sends me videos in German, I do understand everything. When I read in German, I do understand everything. Um, but I am not um, confident at all. When it comes to speaking, oh, yeah. I don't remember words when they have to come from my own brain. Um, no, that's fair, laugh, mate. It's true. Um, I'm echoing back, I think, through your audio, by the way. Uh, you are. I realize that. Um, that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, we'll figure it which out. Will be, it will be fixed. I am uh, getting a mic soon, so yes, it we, will be better. We are going to be investigating the mic, finally. Yeah, and um, those are like English and German are to my uh, are two of my I took languages. Yeah, I also used to learn a little bit of Finnish, but I do not know a word. And <laughs> I also um, am kind of learning Spanish. I know some stuff, not much, but some. Uh, yeah, so I would that's say... Where I, stand at. I would say... Oh, and I, I will add, I learned both uh, English and German at school. Yeah, but... I took French in high school, so I can understand, like, bits and pieces here of French. Uh, listening to somebody talk is not easy for me, though, for French. I did listen to my teacher talk in French quite a bit, but it's still not super easy for me to understand what they're saying. Uh, reading something in French, maybe a little easier. I haven't done it in quite a long time, though. And speaking French is an absolute, like, I would rather murder myself because I'm not good <laughs> at it at all. <laughs> um, yeah, and you are learning Dutch. I am learning Dutch and with the slight background of learning German because I want to talk to, like, Beanie and you more in German. Um, yeah. But, yeah. That's where we both are going. I am trying to get a certificate in English and German to get, um, like, a proof of my skills. Mm -hmm. um, and you are trying just for personal gain of being able to speak another um, language. talk to us. Yeah. Yeah, and you did try behind my back to learn Polish. And I did. You decided that it is I can't do it. <laughs> I think it also doesn't help with most of these things that I am dyslexic. And you have... The joy of having very interesting alphabet <laughs> that I just yeah, there, can't do with. There are some extra letters and some <laughs> extra, um, like, letter combos. Um, I can't the do whole it. Language, <laughs> yeah. The, I get that. Polish is a very hard language when it comes to grammar, but when you have dyslexia, it is even harder. Yeah. So... Like, and I, I, also, I struggle Bini with my own trying, language. Um, an anecdote, Bini is trying to learn, learn Polish. And he started <laughs> to learn it, well, it could be 
a year in March. Yeah. Um, when he started to learn Polish, and he still cannot write the word uh, for a man, um, which is mężczyzna, and he cannot write it. He he doesn't know how to. And it's been a year, and you learned it wor- this word like on the first lesson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's also funny to me, because, like, I I have not been learning Dutch as long as you guys have been learning these other languages, but, like, I am, I want to say I'm super proficient, but I'm well enough versed that sometimes I actually talk to my cat in broken Dutch. Like, it's, it's not great Dutch, it's pretty broken right now. But, like, I do talk to my cat randomly in Dutch, and it's weird because I don't have anybody around me that speaks Dutch at all, but I watch a- I, I have learned this randomly, that I watch actually a bunch of Dutch content creators that I never knew were Dutch until I actually started paying attention. And I also follow a bunch of German content creators that I didn't know were German until I actually paid attention. And so it's kind of funny how like, <laughs> I- these are the two languages that I really want to learn, and once I actually started paying attention to these languages, I realized how many of these kinds of people that I actually like, follow. Because, like, I I don't know if she's from, like, Belgium or the, uh, the Netherlands, but, like, I know she speaks it, uh, but Gabby Smulders, who is Jacksepticeye's girlfriend, she speaks Dutch, and I believe she is Dutch, but I don't, I, I don't want to quote myself on that, but, like, because, like, I'll be watching, Damn. like, one of her, like, vods that she uploads and she'll be like oh this word is the same and like this word is the same in dutch or she's like oh i wonder what this word is in dutch and i'm like i'm like and then it like gives me like a whiplash because i'm like i forget that she speaks dutch and i didn't i didn't really pay attention to that until i started learning dutch um i find it uh very funny because from my perspective when i um like see a Polish content creator or um, I hear um, a Polish content creator or something I just cringe which is I just um, hardcore elbowed my desk <laughs> sorry uh, L <laughs> but like I cringe <laughs> hearing I just cannot watch Polish content creators and for some reason because I use language it was like English every day. Mm-hmm. Um, it got so, I got so used to it that when I hear anything in Polish, it just is too close to my heart, kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, too personal that when I hear somebody speak in Polish, it's like you didn't phrase it the way I would phrase it, and it, I think... it just doesn't. It's yeah. hard to explain to someone who speaks English every day, to be honest. Because yeah. I have this conversation with Vini, and Vini thinks the same about watching stuff in German. Yeah, because it's know. like a... It's weird for, like, I guess because for American, Like, I don't want to say all Americans, but for most, like, English speakers, we watch quite a bit of stuff in English that it's like we've probably desensitized ourselves to the, like, cringiness of it. Because it's like... There are so many content creators, even if they speak their, like, even if they speak their native language, they some, most of the time also speak English, so they'll make content in English because it's more likely to reach a bunch more people than it is in their native language. No. Because, what is it, like, PewDiePie? PewDiePie is from Sweden. Sweden. And he, ever since I started watching him back in, like, what, like, 2012, like, he has always uploaded and like yes he's like said things in like swedish before but like he he always has recorded and uploaded in english because it gave him a wider range of people to connect with and man you mentioned him and i i am so (laughs) filled with like jealousy of his son bjorn because he won he did win (laughs) he did win the place they live at, the combos of languages he will speak or at least understand. Yeah, he'll understand quite the a bit. The money that his father has, <laughs> I am 
I'm so jealous. Ah. He's a cute baby. He's a cute yeah. baby too. It's funny. Yeah, it's it's like fun. he'll be because his Marcia is like a hundred percent. From what I know, they like they've said, his Maurice is like a hundred percent Italian. Quote yeah. Unquote, from what what I've heard in recordings of them speaking that, but like, and then like PewDiePie is Swedish and they both speak English and they live in Japan and so it's like there's three, like. I want to say four languages because I'm going to add English into that because, but like there's four languages right there that he is probably yeah. going to be learning from the get go. It yeah. is so interesting to me about that. He won. He, he did. Won. He did. I am, so, <laughs> I am so jealous of people who won like this. Oh my God. They don't have to learn the language. Well, uh, they learn it, but they start from so young that it's not even a thought for them. Yeah, it's not like a pain. And we've like, been... We've... I, I am suffering with German just for the <laughs> listeners, so they know. I am... I am slightly suffering with Dutch, but I, I'm, I'm sorry to anybody that actually speaks Dutch. I did call it silly English at one point. Because <laughs> it does kind of sound like silly I English. Call... I am calling you out. You said that it sounds like drunken English. No, Beanie says that it sounds like drunken German. <laughs> I call it. I called it silly English, and Beanie called it drunken feel, German. And Beanie uh, said, "Don't and... say that to a Dutch person because they will get upset." <laughs> and yeah. I, I went, "Okay, I, feel I like won't." If it reaches a Dutch person, they would be offended. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are trying You're I trying. am trying I'm not I am trying because like uh, like I said I don't have anybody speak Dutch to so I'll just speak in broken Dutch to my cat <laughs> yeah. which is funny because he, already... he does he does understand one of his nicknames which is a Dutch nickname yeah but we already um, uh, talked about this that we don't think that uh, your cat is American so no we don't we don't think my cat is American uh, that's what I said. That's what I meant. Like, I don't exactly know what my cat is, but I don't think he's American. <laughs> the problem is, think... is that I did get him in America. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can end that on that note. <laughs> Jesus. We love you, but he's he's taking, a, he's taking another nap in the chair behind me. So for anybody who wants a visual of this, uh, I record. So I live in a studio apartment. And I have a massive ass closet. So my PC and everything is in my closet. And I have enough space for all of my clothes, storage, and like two chairs. And he he has claimed this circle chair. And this, by the way, he's an orange cat. He It's a black circle chair. So you can see his fur everywhere on it. He has claimed the circle chair and will make himself into a bagel and sleep on that whenever I'm in here. That is currently what he is doing. He At has least not a pretzel. No, he's not a pretzel right now. He was a pretzel earlier, but like he has <laughs> his head slightly like he has his ears underneath his head and his paws underneath his head and his feet are sticking above his head and he's in a circle. He's in a ball. That is what my cat <laughs> looks like right now. And he is if past we, the hell out. If we get a hold on an editing software. <laughs> I think you can add um, a picture of him. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a picture of him right now. I take so many pictures of this cat. I am aware. Okay, I know. <laughs> Beanie is more excited <laughs> about getting photos of like the animals that you see than my cat because I send so many of my <laughs> photos of my cat. I think it's funny. Okay, guys. I guess thank you for joining us for this episode of It's Been Chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> if you would it's like been a to pretty chaotic end. <laughs> yeah, it has. If you would like to, please hit the subscribe button and a like if you can find the time. Um and I guess we will see you guys for the next episode on Monday. I guess they were heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Till next time everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye.